Yes, Zersky, peace, love, and light. It's the God Lord Christopher, the living survival man. You are now back with another download straight from the cosmos. Remember, someone has to see your greatness. Why not start with yourself? Stay blessed, always finesse. Definitely trust the most highest process, the true keys to success. Hey, listen, man, I appreciate every single one of y'all that has constantly been tapping into the See Your Greatness podcast. We're now sitting roughly at, let me go ahead and look right quick. We're now sitting, I believe, at like 140 uh, subscribers over here. 141, we just got another one, right? 141 subscribers, rolled to 1,000. <laughs> Thou wow, you heard. Rolled to 500K, you heard. Um, I appreciate everybody that has been tapping in and listening, engaging, uh, you know, giving me constructive criticism, uh, liking the post, whether you like the post, comment, share, view, I appreciate it all. Um, you know, there is power in, you know, community, um, and there's power in us coming together to build what we are building. You feel me? We're building more than a brand. We're building a legacy. And y'all are on the journey with me. Every one of these messages, every one of these uh, education, uh, vid- educational videos, motivational videos that I do, uh, you know, it's, it's it's going in the archive to not immortalize myself, but provide, you know, knowledge for those who are seeking it. I grew up in a place where it wasn't, you know, people around, you know, wanting to just offer this type of game, offer this type of knowledge. Everybody was out living their own lives, trying to survive, right? And I realized at an early age, man, that if you don't have knowledge, it's going to be hard for you to get where you need to be. So this is why I built this platform. Um, I've been just working in some, some communities that I'm going to just say this, they need your help, you feel me? And I'm doing my due diligence to ensure that I provide resources, I provide education, I provide wisdom, um, and I, I, I spark something in them to get them moving. We all need this. So again, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Continue to tap in, like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good fun jazz. And uh, we're going to keep this moving, all right? So... Let's go ahead and get into the spill, and then we're going to go ahead and get into some education. <laughs> the vibes here at SYG Studios are to motivate, educate, and enlighten our people to achieve greatness through seeking new ways to invest in themselves. Everything is high level. What we think, what we say, and definitely how we feel and how we act. But before we even get into the energy, take the time to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> you feel me? We love engagement over here and understand that a village pushes the trend, not just one individual. The support is much appreciated. Also, take the time to visit the link, family. Join the SYG community on all social platforms. Book one-on-one consultations to obtain personal guidance, resources if you're a brand, startup, business. I got it, man. Like, this is what I do. I call myself the Living Survival Manual for a reason. Whether you want to cop some merch, hit that link, man. Tap in. Our aim is to not only grow the brand, the legacy, but reach at least 500K individuals who want, need, and are seeking the knowledge to live a more abundant life now with all the information being provided (laughs) i gotta do this gotta send out a quick disclaimer please take the time to do your own research (laughs) it's very very vital my content is intended to be used for motivational purposes only always do your own analysis based on your own current circumstances now all together this is my favorite part we're gonna step into our armor We're going to step into our God body energy, right? We're going to inhale peace. And then we're going to exhale so we can receive that growth and ultimately see our greatness. So let's get into the vibe. Let's get into the energy. Inhale peace. Exhale growth. 
see your greatness. <laughs> Here's what we are learning and tapping into today. We moving along, man. Last episode, we uh, discussed um, the art of self-control, right? Tra- as we go into the season of transition, transition into the fourth quarter, we talked about how it's very, very important to have self-control. Um, you know, being aware, practicing self-discipline, things of that nature. Uh, moving when you have prepared yourself to move properly, effectively, efficiently. Self-control is very, very important. But today, we're going to you know, move on and switch to another mindset, which is getting into more of an abundance mindset <laughs> and how we need to start understanding, like my guy Ash Cass says, abundance is our birthright. Right? We need to start living in, in, in a world that we feel like we have plenty for. Right? We, we're living in wealth. We're living in richness. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we have more than a sufficient quantity of what we need. And not only has the Most High, God, Allah, whoever you, you know, deem as your source, they all want us to live abundantly. They all want us to obtain and achieve things in life, desires, goals. You know what I'm saying? And I feel as though a lot of us do not see that within ourselves. We don't see how we're worthy of having an abundance lifestyle, whatever that lifestyle looks like. You feel me? For me, like, again, I say every cast. I know what poverty looks like in my own mind, in my own right. So I want to know what luxury looks like too. If I had to (laughs) live in a poverty mindset on the grand scale of things, you feel me? If I had to have an abundance of poverty, (laughs) now it's time for me to have an abundance of luxury. And so I strive and I focus and I work and and I do what I need to do to prepare myself for that season of myself. I visualize myself at that stage. I do exercises like look myself in the mirror and I say mantras or affirmations. I am love. I am power. I am in my own sound mind. I am strength. I am knowledgeable. I am intellectual. I am able to be in any room and adapt to that environment and know what I need to do, what I need to say. I know how to hold a conversation. Like, speaking more life into myself instead of death. Because, let's be real, fam. He come from where I come from. You feel me? Yeah, that beat hit. But if you really listen to the words that you're saying, you're taking on a part of that into your life. You're accepting that subconsciously. Because remember, you know, I've been in mental health for a decade now. A little over it, you know what I'm saying? My whole life has been mental health. <laughs> but... I learned that there's a part of your mind that accepts everything that you say out of your mouth, which is the word, everything that you think in your thoughts, which is the word, and it acts it out in its physical form, in its physical equivalents, in this physical reality. So we have to be more mindful of speaking abundance more into our lives instead of poverty, lack of, things of that nature. So what I want to do, man, I want to go ahead and talk about how abundance is a birthright i'm gonna go over a couple of scriptures that describe how you know this has been bestowed upon us as little gods as well as many creators but i also want to go you know i i started getting into a bag of you know i listen to a lot of eric thomas and things of that nature and they say that most of the time when people are in conversations they use curse words because they 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 lack uh, a strong vocabulary one of the, the, the greatest things that Malcolm X did was get his hand on one of these handy dandies. You feel me? <laughs> one of these handy dandy notebooks. This is a Webster's New World College Dictionary. I think this is the fourth edition. I found this at like a, a thrift store. And something was just like, get it. You feel me? And this is, this is what you do when you're trying to, one develop more knowledge but be able to have conversations in, in in different different rooms and different worlds and different cultures 
learning the etymology of things and what they truly mean, right? So today I wanted to, you know, first go over a few verses that talk about abundance. Go over the definition of abundance or might do those vice, vice versa. And then, you know, we just going to move on throughout the uh, podcast and figure out new ways that we can upgrade ourselves by taking on a challenge. Because I'm going to challenge you guys today. Um, then we're going to hop in 100 days of thought provoking questions and get out of here with words of wisdom. But first, I want to, you know, just talk about what does abundance mean? What is abundance, right? What does it mean to be abundant? Um, so the most high said, Hey, go to, first, you know what I'm saying? Go to the dictionary and then come to my scriptures. So that's what we're going to do. I'm trying to find a place to put these pins and stuff. So bam, we got, let's go over abundance, the definition of abundance. And again, this is coming from the Webster's new world college dictionary, fourth edition, the dictionary for the 21st century. Um, yeah. That's the, that's the hard cover right there. This don't come with a CD-ROM and everything, but it's important, you know, especially my my melanated my melanated brothers and women, but especially y'all, man, get out here and you know get your vocabulary up. Know, know how to talk that talk for real. All right. So we have abundance. Um, it says in definition, the number one definition is a great supply. The next one is more than sufficient quantity. The next one is great, plenty. The next one is wealth. So abundance means having, you know, more than you need, right? It means having plenty and it also means having wealth, right? That's what abundance means. Now, when you go to what it means to be abundant, right? Because there's a difference. Abundance is like, like, Think, think, think universal versus abundant being individual. That's the best way that I can, um, that I can describe the two different ones. Abundance is more like universal to where abundant is, is something that's like specific or is significant to an individual, right? So abundant is very plentiful more than sufficient ample well supplied rich in something um so abundance is wealth abundant is rich that's another way to um differentiate the two now what i did then decided to do i decided to okay well I understand a little what abundance means and what abundant means. Let me go into what does wealth mean. So then I went to the definition of wealth, right? And wealth actually comes from or is derived from the word well, right? W-E-A-L, right? And that word means wealth, well-being, right? It also means it said to, for more information, you need to see the word will, like a will, right? It means a sound or prosperous state. Now you, you see how, you know, it says love, you need to have love, power and a sound mind. Isn't it crazy or it's not even crazy, but isn't it wonderful how the spirit always leads you to the resource that you need especially when you're trying to seek it so i'm seeking you know abundance i'm seeking an abundance lifestyle i'm seeking to understand what you know being an abundant individual means or or living in abundance mean and that led me to understand okay well that also means that i'm wealthy and now i'm understanding what wealth means and it means to be in a prosperous state a sound state it means well-being right it means wealth right and then that says you go down to the next word which is wealth and wealth means happiness see a lot of us probably think that wealth only consists of monetary gain money the nero the cheese the guac the fetty 
But that's not really what it's talking about. It's really talking about the energy or the essence that's within you. And in turn, depending on how you feel about yourself inside, the energy that you draw up about certain things inside, that's what you produce on the outside. So if you have an ideology that being in wealth, being wealthy and being rich and having money is, is an important, then you have a way from what I learned from Reverend Ike. He said, you have a way from talking money away from you just by the the thoughts and the mindset that you have about it. You feel me? Like wealth is happiness. If money makes you happy, it makes you happy. It's not a bad thing. But we've been taught, we've been programmed to think that, oh, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. The energy that resides in you is the root to the evil. Because it's the person that utilizes the money to do evil things rather than the money doing evil things. See what I'm saying? But let's not get out of hand. Wealth, it means happiness, um, much money or property, great amount of worldly possessions as well. It does mean riches, the state of having much money or property, the state of having affluence, right? And we should look up what affluence means, a large amount, an abundance, right? A wealth of ideas. See, it's, it's more than just what we think. A wealth of ideas. You can have a wealth of an abundant amount of ideas. Valuable products, valuable products, contents, or derivatives. The wealth of the oceans. That's like a description. Like, think of that. The ocean is abundant. It's, a, it's an abundance of water. <laughs> you feel me? Um, what else do we have? Value measurable in price. Everything having economic value, um, value measurable in price, any useful material thing capable of being bought, sold, or stocked for future disposition. And then you got wealthy, and wealthy just means having wealth, rich, prosperous. Like, it's all the same thing. Affluent, uh, of, characterized by, or suggestive of wealth, rich or abundant. Like, it's, they all mean the same thing. And I'm here to tell you that drinking my, my watermelon juice, pressed by myself, <laughs> cold pressure hurt. And I'm here to tell you, yo, like, if you don't believe me when I say that you should be living in this lifestyle, at least, I mean, believe the book that we all so called abide by. Right? Let's go to the book. Let's go to the book about different scriptures that state you're supposed to be living an abundant lifestyle. Right? We got Psalms 23:5. You you prepare a table before me in my present um, presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Overflows. Now that's the key word. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Proverbs 3, 9, 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth. <laughs> we just went through the dictionary and seen that wealth means abundance. Right? Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns uh, will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Overflowing, brim over. That sounds like abundant talks to me. But seek, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. That's Matthew 6, 3, 3. Philippians 4, 19. And, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory and his Christ. Like, they talk in abundance talk, family. I, I mean, I could keep going. James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father, Father being highest source of creation, of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Abundant generosity. Luke 6, 38. Give and it will be given to you. <laughs> good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will put... Um, will be put into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured back to you so how however you i'm not gonna keep going but however you look at it 
of whatever you feel abundance is to you i mean from what those words are saying well i mean if this is what you view abundance or having an abundance lifestyle as then that's what's going to be bestowed upon you that's what's going to be placed in your lap that's how that's what that's how your mind is always going to think about it that's how you're going to move in this world depending on what you see as abundance mentally physically spiritually financially economically in your community like however you view it nobody's right or wrong in this situation but i feel like the veil of it all pays a part with the intention of the people once they obtain an abundance amount of resources resources such as things that we call money right so what are you what are you trying to do what type of lifestyle are you trying to live are you trying to live a wealthy lifestyle or are you trying to live in poverty and that's a mindset that, that, that's a mind shift, a paradigm shift that you have to go through and understand like, yo, my whole life, man, has been a lie. They teach you to wake up, go to school, go through the school system, go through the job systems, go to college, all these different systems. But they don't ever teach you how to go through the system of critically thinking for yourself. I tell this story all the time. I've taught at or mentored at a few elementary schools middle schools and i see the shift in the difference between how from pre-k to first grade they have such tremendous critical thinking skills they have the ability to create in their mind such sense of urgency happiness always like up and ready and then once i got into the older grades it's, it's almost it's like they're zombies man they're just following everything everything is Hey, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Now it's, mm mm-hmm. That's like, that's like the kid's favorite words now. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you mean you don't know? What are they teaching you? Right? They're not teaching these kids how to have an abundance mindset. They're teaching them to be complacent. Take what you can get. And I'm here to say that ain't that ain't how I'm going to live. That's not what I'm going to preach ever. That ain't what the Bible says. No mentor that I've ever had. Once I realized like, hold on, this ain't how life is supposed to be. No, you're not supposed to be in them projects. You feel me? It should be no reason why I walk outside and, and, and the whole apartment complex of the neighborhood that i'm working in looks like nobody has done cleaning over there for the past two three years but you go up the block now literally you can go up like five ten minutes up the block and in this area it looks like they have (laughs) normal cleaning crews coming up every monday wednesdays you feel me they look like the people that'll find you if you if your grass ain't cut properly it's because There are resources being poured and pulled into those uh, communities, abundant amount, while we're other, while these other communities are getting left with scraps, living in poverty, having a lack of abundance mindset. So, yeah, like abundance is a birthright. If God said that you are supposed to have an abundance lifestyle or an abundant lifestyle. Why are you not living that way? And if you feel like you are, that's cool. This ain't for you. This is for the people who feel like they are struggling mentally, struggling financially, struggling physically. You feel me? Struggling in relationships, struggling in their career. Don't know what to do. Don't know where they're trying to go. Don't have dreams, don't have visions, don't have goals, don't got plans. Don't got daily objectives for their lives. Don't have no core value. Like, this is who I'm talking to. Because I'm trying to bring and sow my gifts so that my ultimate desires impact oppressed spirits. I'm trying to pull y'all up out the water like Jesus did my God. You feel me? I'm trying to get you away from the distractions so you can see the light. 
that's why we tap in every day you feel me and i try to, and i work hard and, and and i you know go through every moment that i have to 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 develop and curate these messages for y'all because it's important somebody needs to hear this And for those who are here constantly typing in, I'm proud of y'all. Because I, I know what you want. I know what you desire. You desire everything that I desire. <laughs> Trust me. And so we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep moving, right? So today, for today's new upgrade, I actually have a challenge for y'all. Just like how I just, you know, picked the word this week and to, to assist with expanding on our vocabulary the new upgrade is not going to be something that i show y'all this is going to be and this is going to let me know who actually taps in who, is, who actually listens and things of that nature this upgrade is for you to go pick a word out the dictionary comment it down below let me know why you picked that word how does that word make you feel is that is that a word that you know sparks something within you to help you start moving in a, a progressive way or you know or it, or is it something that describes how you feel in this moment like pick a new word we're going to expand on our and expound rather on our vocabulary we're going to get better we're going to live more abundant we're going to live more wealthy you feel what i'm saying like i'm a, i'm going to pick a word i'm going to just I'm going to just close my eyes and I'm going to just point to one. All right. So we have Patrician, 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 a Patrician. All right. So Patrician, it means Patricius, Senators, Fathers. Uh, a member of any of the ancient Roman citizen families, lady later a member of the nobility, opposed to plebeian, a member of a class of honorary nobility of the later empire, chief administrator in the Roman provinces in Africa and Italy, a person of high rank in some medieval Italian re republics and in certain free cities of the german empire any person of high social rank aristocrat um of characteristic of patricians noble aristocratic so that's patrician p-a-t-i no i'm sorry p-a-t-r-i-c-i-a-n p-a-t-r-i-c-i-a-n patrician okay all right so that was my new word of the day patrician and I, I like this though because this, you know, I, I, shit, I want to be in here. I want to be in this dictionary. They they have actual people in this one, so I opened up to this. They got um, J. Edgar Hoover in here. They got Herbert Hoover. They got a little de de descriptions. No, they don't. Hoochie coochie. <laughs> They actually got that in his dictionary. That is funny. And why do they have a star beside it, y'all? <laughs> they got a star beside Hood and Hoodlum, though, too. Hmm. We're going to have to look into that. There's a reason for these stars, right? But nah, man. Yeah, that's the challenge for y'all. <laughs> I'm getting all off of the vibe of the podcast. But that's the, um, that's the challenge for y'all. I want y'all to pick a word this week um you know challenge yourself to remember remember what it means our word what today was abundant you know i asked wifey earlier before i got up here i'm like you know what are we talking about today what's the message of the day and she was like abundance and funny thing about it let me tell y'all how the most high word how this movie is just like just so designed for you to win so Earlier today, she said, and we're going to get out of here. All right? Earlier today, she said that she was at work, and um, she had ended up like buying this cup. It had angel numbers 888 on it. And these numbers, uh, you know, God speaks to through us through different mediums. So these numbers 
um, in this particular fashion is supposed to represent um, abundance, right? So they call them angel numbers, but angels are nothing but angles of light. They're messages. So it means abundance, 888, right? So then um, the, the owner of the company comes in and, and starts talking about how you know her word of the day was abundance right and how she ended up seeing a frog at her front door right and when she researched it she it stated that if a, a frog was at your front door that that frog represents abundance right tell me why before i came in to record this video a frog hopped past my feet. <laughs> it literally just hopped past and paused my uh, my husky. He tried to <laughs> try to run after him. Yeah, we're gonna run after abundance, but it's just so wild how everything just is in sync, how God has its way of reminding you of who you are, where you're going, you know, what you need to do. It always sends those signs past you but the key is are you listening are you are you aware of when these things happen and these things transpire so that was just a dope little story time um that coincides with you know today's message abundance man abundance is a birthright and y'all should start living life as such you feel me so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and hop into tpq Day 25, I believe. Yup, day 25. 100 days of thought-provoking questions. And then we're going to get up out of here with words of wisdom, all right? Day 25, 100 days of thought-provoking questions. We have, how do you approach building and nurturing professional relationships? How do you approach building and nurturing professional relationships? Um... Ooh, how do you approach building? This is a good one for me. So for me, I feel like I build and nurture professional relationships like I do like regular uh, relationships. If I feel like I can't, you know, be transparent with you in some way, shape or form. Um, and I feel like I have to kind of like, um, like either dull myself down or dumb myself down, things of that nature. That lets me kind of know whether or not I want to be in a professional relationship with you or not. Now, I, I can turn the light switch off and on and, and just play the role, play my part in, in certain aspects. However, like at the stage that I'm in, I, I kind of want my, my, my professional relationships to in, in some way be shape and form personal too. Because it's like if I'm working on a, a goal or if I have this dream and this plan, um, I move again off core values and I need the person that I'm working with to uh, walk in a specific uh, set of core values as well and they also need to be like-minded in, in a way of helping me understand whether or not they want to see me live an abundance life or if they're just there to get their money, do what they gotta do and, and bounce. like. I'm not saying that we won't have relationships like that in life, but I'm just saying the vast majority of the relationship that I build and nurture, um, it's, it's just vetted, vetted through whether or not, you know, I can share whether personal information, personal ideas, um, just be my genuine self and things of that nature. Uh, with you if not you know you're just gonna do the job and you know what when, when the contract ends you know that's when we part ways but um for the most part i would love for some of my business partners to be friends family people i can trust um people who have a sense of loyalty they hold themselves accountable um, so I, you know, I just again look over that, look over those types of values, see if they show that, um, have integrity, you know, especially ways you can see that or how people can display that is in their work, their work ethic, their actions, things of that nature. So, um, yeah, man, that's how that's how I build and nurture my professional 
relationship so that's the question that i want y'all to um answer or ask somebody you feel me ask somebody who's in a position of where you want to be in life ask them these questions how do you approach building and nurturing your professional relationships all right man so i hope i know y'all enjoyed this one tonight just like every other night i'm getting out of saying i hope you do i'm i'm speaking more uh abundant (laughs) abundance talk you feel me i um i know you are enjoying this so we're gonna go ahead and get our words of wisdom for today all right i gotta go to my my little um my notes section today we have today is a black canvas waiting for the colors of your intentions and actions embrace the possibilities that lie ahead with an open heart and a clear mind remember that even the smallest steps can lead to meaningful progress approach challenges as opportunities for growth and find joy in the simple moments that enrich your day as you navigate today's journey let kindness guide your inner actions gratitude shape your perspective and determination fuel your efforts your choices today have the power to shape a brighter future so make them count that was lit that was lit that's the words of wisdom for the night hey listen man episode 34 abundance is a birthright um y'all continue to like comment share and subscribe let me know how y'all feel let me know what y'all going through let me know what you think let me know how i can help let me know how we can work together i was about to start spitting bars but um yeah just keep tapping in today was day 25 as well of 100 days of thought provoking questions how do you approach building and nurturing professional relationships uh continue to like comment share and subscribe hit the link uh, tap in with your boy um remember someone has to see your greatness when i start with yourself stay blessed always finesse definitely trust the most highest process the truest keys to success i love y'all i appreciate y'all uh, continue to tap in with me again i can't stress this enough do that link if you want to come on educate provide some advice things of that nature this is your platform too king queen i love y'all um let's tap in let's work let's grind all in we all even love y'all